Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my 58th floss tube video. I made it to the end of Mania, people. It's been a very crazy month with starting a new job and um, starting all the cross stitch things. So yes, this is a channel about cross stitch. So <laughs> if you were wondering what is this channel all about, it's about cross stitch. So here we go. Um, first off, thank you for uh, returning to my channel and my videos. Thank you for all the subscribers and thank you for any new viewers. I hope you will enjoy yourself and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I would really appreciate it. Um, change of how I look. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I just found my bandana and thought, what the heck? So let's dive into this past two weeks. Um, for the Whipgo uh, May piece, um, there were two numbers drawn. The first one I already finished, so I only focused on one project. And that's Hello Winter. And I focused on this one next to all the new starts. So it's this one, Hello Winter by Plum Street Samplers. And I'm happy to report, and I hope I didn't put something behind it. I will do that now. Let's see. Yes. I have a finish, people. So cross that off my list. I really love this. It's 28 count or 32 count light gray linen. No brand. I don't know. And I used to call for flosses, which are which Wicks Dye Works. And yeah, I really enjoyed this stitch and I'm happy to finish it. So yeah, finally a finish. Um, leads, oh, leads me into the pattern. I'm going to give this away. Um, so if you would like to um, have this pattern and stitch it yourself, I'm going to pass the stash. So. I'm not going to ask difficult questions. I'm too tired. <laughs> so um, if you would like this pattern, just say in the comments, um, I would like to stitch Hello Winter. And I will draw uh, with a random number generator um, someone who can stitch this. Please um, don't say the word giveaway in the comments because I would have to delete your comment and I would, wouldn't like that. Um, please be over 18 because I need your address to send it to and yeah just accept the normal giveaway rules so if you would like this I would like to stitch hello winter and I hope someone is as happy about it as I did so that's crossed off my list then um, I had eight or seven new starts um, in the last two weeks, uh, the last one, the last new start of Stitch Mania 2020 is going to be The Light of Upon the Lawn by Blackbird Designs. And I, it's going to be started tonight, I think, because I have a lot of errands to run this afternoon. And yeah, I, I'm going to start it this evening, which is a couple of hours, more than a couple of hours away. But I don't have the time to start it in daytime. So... Um, yeah, it's the last one and I'm going to see, uh, let you see in the next video how my progress has been. So that's my last one for this month. And now I'm going to show you and I need to, I put this too far away. I'm going to show you what I have done on all my new starts. I don't think this video is going to be very long, but that's okay. The first one is, I'm sorry about the crinkles and the glare, but hey, the first start, and it's in no particular order, is going to be, of, or was, H.L. Moth by Kathy Barrick, my favorite. And I'm going to show you what I did. And I'm using, for all my starts, I'm using... Um, 
the cult for DMCs and when I could substitute it with a fancy, fancy floss, I did. Um, let's see, is this the top? Yes. <laughs> this is what I did. Let's see if I can show you better. This is what I did. This is a 32 count orangey fabric by Victorian Motto Semper shop. I was in the Fabric of the Month Club last year and this was the last one I received and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous. It doesn't show up like it's like it is, but it's a very it looks like gingerbread by Picture This Plus. So yeah, this is what I did. And I really enjoyed this start. So hope to get back soonish to this one and yeah part of me is relieved stitch mania is over and part of me isn't because i really 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 like to start things so next start was oh this one yeah was a spring fling by Brenda Gervais with thy needle and thread. I was first going to start it on this piece of flamingo pink by me fabric. Turned out I started, I did the first couple of stitches and I immediately said no, it's not going to be stitched on this horrible fabric. I, I think it's horrible. I believe some People like it, but it looks like cheesecloth and I don't like stitching on cheesecloth. So I was on the lookout. What could I use? Because this is going to be tossed. And I couldn't find any white even weave or linen anymore in my stash to dye quickly. So what did I do? I found a piece of salmon colored 28 count Joblin and I dyed it, over dyed it with flamingo pink. And this is how it turned out and it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous and it doesn't show up. Let's see if I can fold it. Yeah, this is almost true to color and I really, really like it. The only thing is Let's see, my start, I started, I started from the, I started in the middle, the bottom middle, I started with the bunny, the hardest part, because it's very big, and I started from the one corner to the other corner, to, yeah, just start at the bottom of the bunny, and then, after a couple of rows, I started to stitch upwards and downwards and upwards and downwards. And that made, I don't, I don't know if it's showing up, but the bottom row is showing up creamier than the top part. The top part is, looks more white. So I thought, what the heck? For the bottom part, I used a leftover skein of um, DMC 3865 which is winter white and for the top part I had to get a new one, a new skein. So I think, I, I don't know any other explanation, I think the top part, the new skein, is from another dye lot and I can't fix it. So Unfortunately, because I really, really enjoyed stitching on this fabric, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pick everything out and start over. Because it's showing to me. I don't know if it, if it is to you, but it is to me. So, yeah. And I don't... The bunny is very big, so I don't like it when it's showing up to me. So I need to pick it out. So that's going to be a restart someday soon on the same fabric because I really like this fabric and how it turned out. That spring fling, 
so Jantina at Jantina Stitches at Fl on Flosstube, um, our fabrics won't be the same. <laughs> so the next start is. forgetting which one which side I'm on uh, the next start was going to be uh, apple blossom sampler by the drawn thread and I was looking at the pattern when I scanned it in uh, for putting in my good notes because I use good notes to mark off my stitches um, when I was looking at the pattern I saw there were a lot of specialty stitches and I heard about it with the drawn th the drawn thread but <laughs> But I just forgot about um, this designer and she does specialty stitches. So it looks okay. I'm just going to try it. I love this pattern. It's, it's gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. So I'm going to show you my start on it. And I'm using mostly, I'm going to show you quickly. Victorian motto sampler threads and yeah these are gorgeous colors and my start on it I started in the top left corner and this is my start um, excuse the hook marks but I didn't iron it this is 32 count uh, natural raw linen by Zweigert and yeah really like like stitching on this there's going to be one over one stitching on this one there's going to be let's see satin stitches um, there's going to be a stitch that's called square boss I'm not sure, but there's an explanation. And that's that's it. One over one, satin stitches and square boss. So I'm excited. It's my this is my start. It's not a very big start, but I didn't have enough time. So but it started. So that's Apple Blossom Sampler. The next start, I really was excited about this one, and I still am. That's, let's see, yeah. Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. I really like these fall colors, and especially the house, which is in gorgeous blues and grays. I am stitching this with Miss Uceda Silks, uh, one fold four which is blue corn for the house and the rest is Victorian motto and DMC's I was going to stitch some in shady silks from Aliexpress but I tried them and they are horrible horrible I never again I just tossed all I just tossed all in the can and I'm not going to stitch with them anymore I'm not going to order from Aliexpress anymore it's done and over with so let's see my start I am stitching this on 36 count sand by picture this plus and I started in the bottom right corner started with a border and worked my way over to the beginning of the house and I hope it's showing up it started out gray and it will be going over into blues really like this And that's Feast of Friendship. And I have an itchy nose again because floss tube. Yeah. That's just the way it is, right? The next start was a gift from uh, Stacy911 Stitcher. Stacy, I hope you're okay. Um, I heard the news. And yeah. My heart is with you. I, my thoughts are with you. And yeah, 
I hope you're okay. Um, this is, am I showing this? Yeah, <laughs> Scary Berry by Erica Michaels. Gifted to me by Stacy 911 Stitcher. With the fabric, she also gifted it to me. And I started in the middle. And I started working on the moon. This is um, 28 count Haunted by Picture This Plus. And I'm using a mix of DMCs and Victorian mottos. And also didn't have a lot of time to stitch. So, but every stitch counts. So that's my start on Scary Berry. The next start, and excuse the crinkles, was Seasons Autumn by Lila Studio, which was a gift from Alice. Hi Alice, <laughs> my stitchy friend and friend in real life. So she already finished this and I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to show you my start. I did a lot, actually. This is 40 Count Mellow by Zweigart. Um, the only thing, um, I mentioned this on Instagram, if you follow me there, I'm at creativelyyours.2. Um, the picture is very blown up in color, so this is the call for DMC. But the picture I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the other way. It's a more yellowy, tanny color. And I really like this color. This was the one I was looking for. So I'm going to either pick this out and start over with another DMC color or leave it and we'll be using a DMC color, this color, into the leaves of the plant. So. We'll see when I, got, when I get back to this one. Seems to be a lot when you look at the cover picture and it's totally different on what you are stitching. So, but that's okay. You can always substitute to the picture of the cover. So the next start was a gift from my youngest sister. She gave this kit to me for my birthday. She sent it to me and I really like it. It's King Bolit by Alisa. I think this is a Dutch designer, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah. Started this one with a kit floss and a kit fabric, which is a, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't say any count, but I believe this is 40, 14 count Ada, white Ada. I'm going to put something behind it. This is my start. I started in the middle, as you can see from the hoof marks. And yeah, really like it. The Ada is stiff-ish, but it's okay. So... That's my start on King Bolit. And my last, but certainly not my least, start is and I'm using the called for colors on this one. Maybe it's called outside by Heartstring Samplery. I got the flosses from my friend Alice and I am stitching this on 40 count mellow by Zweigert and this is my start it only says look out <laughs> and a part of the border I started in the upper left corner and worked my way onto the letters which are going really fast and I really like this so yeah 
that was my last start of this stitch mania and i really really enjoyed this stitch mania because i could start all the things the first year i worked on whips and uh, did one new start for stitch mania which was 2018 last year i did a finish mania so i um decided to stitch on patterns which were almost finished and I had a lot of finishes in the month of May and this year I went all out and said who cares if I'm starting a new job <laughs> I'm just going to stitch and start all the things and I with the start from, from today the light upon the lawn I have a total of 16 new starts so that makes a total of 47 whips right now <laughs> yeah I think I'm going to do exactly the same next year because I really enjoyed this so then I have a little bit of haul I yeah I did a lot of COVID-19 shop shopping I felt the need to comfort myself in shopping as most of you do and some orders were a long time on their way because everything is shut down and I believe the postal services in America is holding packages back and um, I'm still waiting on an order because I ordered in the last week of April something from 123 Stitch uh, for a gift for Alice for her birthday uh, on the 9th of May so happy birthday Alice and um, it's still not here the track and trace still says um, on the 30th of April April uh, that it's on their way to the next U USPS facility but I don't know it's stuck somewhere so I'm going to have to email 123 stitch about this um, to ask them if they can see what's the hold up or I'm patient I don't care if it's going to be here at the end of June but I would like to know if it's not missing anywhere so but some of my orders came in which were also from America some of them um, this one isn't I ordered a 10 pack of silks from Miss Usedas the wonderful Raquel um, I always enjoy and love her um, silks and I couldn't help myself I need needed to order place an order so I'm going to show you which one I chose. You can choose yourself. Um, uh, you can choose 10 colors from her line and she will send them. So, and they smell ridiculously good. So this is, wow, it doesn't say. This is a teal, which is gorgeous. This one, is also a lighter teal this one was a blue purple which is wow this is gorgeous I see this in a Halloween pattern this was I don't know the name anymore which is I believe maroon could it be I don't know it's a gorgeous red I ordered two of the blacks because I always am in need of blacks I also ordered two of the whites and maybe if I pick out spring fling I will use this these instead of DMC 3865 just a thought I ordered uh, seagrass I don't I know this one which is a gorgeous green it just is not showing up like it's like it is let's see no it's not showing up it's a gorgeous green greenish yeah seagrass seaweed I ordered uh, yeah a blue which is yeah it's showing up almost accurate gorgeous blue and she put some gifts in the package because that's Raquel thank you Raquel that's very generous of you 
she put in rouge which is a very dark red it's not showing up maybe if I no <laughs> yeah yeah you can see it is a gorgeous 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 silk and she put in a needle minder with a note on the back of her card so thank you so much Raquel I really really enjoy your flosses and silks and if if you haven't tried them out yet you should she is wonderful to work with. She sends really fast. I ordered them on um, Saturday last week. And I already got a shipment notification on Sunday. Which is super fast. Uh, then I was looking at a D-Stash group uh, here in the Netherlands. And um, I came across... Uh, a booklet which I immediately got my attention but I said to myself no you ordered enough no not going to do it so I scrolled on and closed off Facebook and just went on with my stitching and then the next morning I was stitching again and then I just looked at Facebook again which is dangerous and the booklet yeah just came by again and nobody claimed it yet. So that was a sign for me to say, me please. <laughs> it's this one, Blackbird Designs, this Halloween. Yeah, this Halloween. It has 13 stockings and projects to stitch. And I really enjoy this, I really like this. Yeah, really like this booklet. It is in pristine condition, so yeah. That was my D-Stash buy, and then, and this is uh, Michelle McGraw's fault, uh, made by Michelle McGraw on Flosstube and Instagram. She was telling, I don't know, um, three videos ago about the sale Coloring Cotton had, because they are changing up their floss cards, and they had a sale for two dollars each so and normally they are a lot more expensive so I thought what the heck thank you Michelle I'm going to order some because hold on I never tried out any color and cotton flosses so I went on their website and looked at what was left and ordered just about anything what was left and then it took a very long time to get here because it got stuck at customs and yeah but it's here now and that's what that's what counts so I'm going to show you this is granite gorgeous grayish purpley color this is mint julep, which is a very nice neutral color, greenish neutral. I ordered this one was very more vibrant, uh, much more vibrant than I thought. <laughs> this is orange soda, but I can see myself stitching this on a Halloween pattern. Then I ordered all the blues. Uh, this one is gorgeous. It's Capri. Very nice. The next one is very nice too. It's Buttermints, which is a variegation between light blue and light green. It's very nice. The next one is also very beautiful, which is Pacific. Gorgeous blue, almost Nika's color. I believe then I ordered another neutral which is khaki it's beautiful I say that over and over and I already stole two of the threads for um, a pattern I'm going to stitch so I'm not going to get to show them but <clears throat> this one is monster jam I was wondering which color that was. 
it's a very nice purple purpley blue this one is beautiful this is mermaid shimmer which has a very nice variegation yeah love this and this one is also very beautiful it's carolina blue very very nice variegation yeah like it and this one is mermaid's folly very nice teal yeah and the last one besides the two i can show you <laughs> is raw linen which is a very nice whitish creamish color so i'm happy i'm i was so happy it came because it got stuck i it took about a month it took about a month to get here and i understand covid and i understand um everything that's going on uh with uh, the quarantine and uh yeah so i wasn't in a hurry and uh, I know Angela from Color and Cotton is wonderful to work with. So I just thought to myself, it will get here someday. And it did, just out of the blue. I wasn't expecting at it this point. So, but it came. So, yeah. These were all my stitchy stuffs, whips, and um, haul. And then I only have left uh, my plans for next month which is a few days away um it's friday the 29th of may uh, i should have said that at the beginning but <laughs> i'm doing it now uh, my plans um lydia from lovely stitches already spoke about it we talked through whatsapp with some other dutch floss tubers slash stitchers and uh, we were talking about our plans for June and we came up with why don't we finish some stuff in June so we came up with the hashtag fi hashtag finish it already and we are going to um, yeah work on projects which are near a finish so that's going to be June besides the two WIPCO numbers which were drawn yesterday and those projects are going to be farmhouse christmas which is one of the finish it already projects and the other one is pretty little london by satsuma street so yeah i am happy uh, to go into june so yeah this was it i don't have anything else to say uh, besides if you want hello winter the pattern leave a comment saying i would love to stitch hello winter and i will draw a name uh, in my next uh, the day before my next video which is in two weeks so you have two weeks and uh, I will draw a name on Thursday evening in, in two weeks and show it in my next video who won the pattern so thank you for watching I'm going to clean up again uh, going to yeah do some errands and going to start on my last Stitch Mania 2020 start and enjoy my free time because I have four days off. So, which is a mini vacation. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you, if you did, I hope you would like to leave a comment, a like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I will see you in two weeks. Bye for now.